the association models possible relationships between instances of classes. In the class diagram, you see the relationship between the class's professor and the student. The student has null to infinite relationships to professor and the attribute is called lecturer. In the object diagram, there is the object Mike Fox, who does not have any relationship to any professor. The professor has no or one relationship to any student or has many relationships to any student. This association is called gives lecture for. The binary association connects instances of two classes with one another. The head of the arrow shows that it is navigable to the class and the cross means that it is non-navigable. Gives lecture for is the association name. The filled arrow shows the reading direction. The plus in front of lecturer indicates the visibility of the role lecturer. The star at the beginning and the end of the link defines the multiplicity of how many classes can relate. The star means that there can be no relationship, one relationship or more relationships. The navigability defines if an object knows its partner objects and can therefore access their visible attributes and operations. It is indicated by an open arrowhead. In the first example on top, A can access the visible attributes and operations of B, but B cannot access any attributes and operations of A because it is non-navigable as it is indicated by the cross. In practice, Navigability is mostly undefined as you see in the bottom example. It is assumed that it is navigable in both directions. A can access attributes and operations of B and the other way around. On this slide you see the different possibilities to show navigability. The best practice of the upper two models of UML standard is the upper version. So just a line. The best practice of the lower two examples of the UML standard is also the upper version, where one end has a head and there is no cross at the other end. As we've seen before, you can use a role name of the relationship. This means that the student has the role lecturer of type professor with the multiplicity star. You should write the role directly in the student class as an attribute, but that is not the best way to do it. In Java notation, the class student has the professor array named lecturer. In the next step, we take a closer look at the multiplicity and role. Multiplicity means the number of objects that may be associated with exactly one object of the opposite side. A lecturer issues one or more assignments, but an assignment is issued by exactly one lecturer. A lecturer gives one or more lectures, and the lecture is given by one or more lecturers. The role describes the way in which the object is involved in an association relationship. A person examines another person as an examiner. The other way around, the person is examined by another person as an examinee. The role name is later translated into an attribute as we have seen before in the Java code. If you want to show that a class can have a relationship either to one or to another class, you can use the XOR constraint. The class exam needs a relationship to office or to lecture hall, but not both. Unary association is used to model a relationship from and to the same class. Person A is married to another person B and person B is married to person A. Frank is married to Mary. 
David has no married to relationship is also true because the multiplicities in the class diagram show a minimum of zero on both sides. Due to the multiplicity one in the class diagram on both sides, it is not possible that Larry has two wives. In the class diagram, you cannot make a difference between objects of the same class. It could also occur that an object of class person is married to itself. Charles is married to himself. Another important concept is the n -ary association. It is needed when more than two partner objects are involved in the relationship. In this case, it does not make sense to have navigation directions. The ternary association is between three different classes. In this example, the name of the ternary association is grades. Exam can have many students and has no one lecturer with the public role examiner. There are three different possible interpretations of the ternary association. One student takes one exam with one or no lecturer. One exam with one lecturer can be taken by any number of students. Or one student can be graded by one lecturer for any numbers of exams. It is to be considered that there is a difference to the binary association. In the right example, the lecturer cannot have any association directly with a student because an exam is needed. An association class assigns attributes to the relationship between classes rather than to a class itself. In this example, we have two association classes, enrollment and grade. Enrollment is a binary association class and grade is a ternary association class. Object of these classes only exist when there is a relationship. An association class is often needed when modeling an end to m association. This is the case when on both sides of the relationship there is a multiplicity bigger than one. A company can have one or more relationships to a person and the person can have null or more relationships to a company. When there is a relationship, the association class contract with the private attribute salary and position is needed. When there is only a one-to-one -one or one-to-n association, this association class is not needed because you can add the attributes of the association class to another class of the relationship. A company has many relationships to persons, but a person can have only one relationship to a company. The attribute salary and position can be transferred to the class person and so the class contract is not necessary. It is transferred to class person because person has a multiplicity bigger than one. Please note that there is a difference between an association class and a regular class. On the left example, a student can enroll for one particular study program only once and on the right hand side, he or she can have multiple enrollments for one and the same study program. The association class contains by default no duplicates. A student can only be granted an exam meeting for a specific exam once. If you want to allow duplicates, you have to define it as non-unique. Then a student can have more than one exam meetings for a specific exam. This slide shows an example of the difference between a unique and a non-unique class. The example on top shows the class diagram with a non-unique association. In the object diagram you see that there are two objects, 
G1 and G2 of class grading. They differ in their grade and therefore they are not unique.